Podcast. Welcome back to the Finest Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Macedo. Uh, what I, I already forgot the intro. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's a uh, welcome to the Finest Podcast, where we define the definition in order to become the best. Something like that. I swear, I'm gonna learn it one of these days. <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna get it. Like, I'm gonna have it memorized one of these days, man. Yeah, but uh, yeah, man, we're back for episode, this is going to be episode 17. Nice. Episode 17 of the Finest Podcast, and uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to consider this episode as the first episode I have a returning guest. I'm back, guys. Yeah, I have a returning guest on the podcast, man. It's my boy, Javier Paredes. Yeah, well, and it's good, so good to be back. I can't, I can't wait to talk about this movie. Yeah, man. So this 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 podcast is gonna be a little different, man. We're gonna have to go ahead and put like a spoiler alert. We gotta get it like yeah, a little put it on the screen. A little spoiler alert uh, warning. We could get a little. Uh, oh, uh, man, I don't know. I had to look up some sound effects to put in. I'm gonna make my own the the beep. Oh yeah, beep yeah. beep yeah. beep beep. Spoiler alert, guys. Spoiler alert, guys. This podcast is going to be a uh, movie review over the Avengers Endgame movie. So that's going to be the majority of the podcast. I know I, I, there's a couple things I want to talk to you at the end. Okay. Yeah. So 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 if y'all haven't watched the movie yet, you can still listen like towards the end or skip ahead yeah. <laughs> towards the end of the podcast. We'll be talking about some other stuff. And, uh, yeah, but the majority of the podcast is going to be a review of Endgame, which just dropped this Friday or this well, technically is it Thursday. They're Thir coming out Thursday now, yeah. basically. Yeah, they're coming out a little bit earlier now. Yeah, but this is uh, uh, we're recording this on Sunday, so it's still technically opening weekend. Right, right, right. Still opening weekend. And if you haven't seen it, what are you doing watching this? Go watch it. <laughs> Go watch it first and, and then, then come back. This. And, and then, then come back. Yeah, and, and get our thoughts. And see if you saw the same thing we saw. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, man. It's, uh, this is also consider this also the first podcast that I did. Uh, I did prep work for. Okay. okay. I consider this the first part. Uh, the first podcast I did prep work for because because I had to catch up on some Marvel movies yeah. to do this, man. Yeah. Twenty two films. Twenty two films. Twenty two yeah. films. Yeah. So yeah, I mean you got to you got to do your prep work for Endgame. I yeah. Mean, this this movie. Was was something? Yeah. So I hadn't watched Captain Marvel yet. Okay. So for this for this uh, episode, I had to go watch Captain Marvel first. Okay. And then I had to make sure I watched the uh, uh, Endgame opening weekend too. Right. Which man, I haven't done gone to the movies to watch a movie like opening weekend in like years. I know you mentioned that the last yeah. time we were doing our top ten movies. And yeah. So yeah, man, I haven't gone in years opening weekend. So uh, yeah, I actually. So how was your experience? Ah, uh, you know what? I realized something like right at the beginning of the movie. Now, not why, not while watching Captain Marvel. Okay. But then watching Endgame, I realized something, man. I realized I'd rather watch a movie at home. Really? Why? Yes. I don't know, man. I think it's I think it's something to do with my ADD. Okay. Because I feel like like uh. Like if somebody makes some noise mm. or something like that, I get distracted yeah. and then I lose. I, it takes me out really? of the moment. It yeah. takes me out of the moment. And there's also a couple times where the audience like clapped and like yelled and screamed or whatever, and then like I couldn't hear what the actors were saying. Right, right, right. And then so if something like that happens, like in uh, <laughs> at home, you could just pause it right, and then rewind right, it. Right, right, right. And then like what? Or sometimes you'd be like, you're, you're not sure you heard what they said right. Yeah. Like, did they just say what I think they said? Right. So you, I like doing that. Like, I want to make sure like I have like all the information right. possible. And then so, so what really made me, I was like, I, I realized that at the beginning and then I was for sure like towards the end of the movie, I was like, there's this one part, like there was a guy that messed up messed it up i messed this one part up for me i was like oh my god one of the audience members yeah one of the audience oh, members man. he said he's like oh here it comes and then i'm oh, like oh really I'm like at that point i'm like 
This oh, was like man. this was probably like five seconds before anything really happened on screen, but he already knew it was coming up. Okay, and, and this so was towards the end of the film. Uh, yeah, I this think is, I know what he was talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess we could talk about it right now. Yeah. We don't have to be like in order. No, no, no. Yeah, we already told you it's gonna be spoilers. Right, right, right. So the the scene that got messed up for me was when Captain America picked up the hammer. Oh man, that that's the scene that that guy messed up for me because uh. By that time, like uh, they had showed the hammer, like like uh, uh, Thor, like Thanos, Thanos had Thor or whatever, right. and then uh, they showed the, the hammer by itself. And then once they showed the hammer by itself, that guy was like, "Oh, here it comes!" And then so I'm like, "What's he talking about?" And then I get distracted. I kind of turned this way a little bit, yeah, like because he came from the back. He was a little like maybe like the the, the next row up. And then when I look back. I, I see like Captain America like flying in midair with the hammer, with mm -hmm. Thor's hammer. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, I wish I had it. Like, I wanted right. to be in that moment completely. Yeah. And then, so yeah, man, that, that guy, there's a guy that messed up that. That scene and that was me. actually one of my top moments. I mean, we were just we were talking about the movie or yeah. before we got on. Yeah. That was probably one of the best moments of the film was when he picked up Mjolnir, I think that's yeah, what that, I, I can't pronounce it. I can't Mjolnir, pronounce it either. Mjolnir. Mjolnir, when he picked yeah. up, you know, and, and they teased a little bit about that in, in Age of Ultron uh -huh. when it was a whole bunch of the oh, Avengers just standing and, around the table, standing around the table, yeah. and everybody was trying to pick it up. Nobody could. The only one that could was Captain America. He did like he, a little, he moved it a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. That got that Thor, that <laughs> Thor got a little bit worried on that, <laughs> yeah. end, on that end. So they teased it right there, and it yeah. was it was awesome to see on screen when he finally picked it up. and I mean that. And the Thor's reaction, like Thor's on reaction, screen, yeah. he's like, "I knew it, I knew it." Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, that was that was my favorite movie in the whole. the The favorite scene in the whole movie was that was fr from Endgame. From yeah, in okay. from, from Endgame. Yeah, that was, that was my favorite. No, that was that was a cool moment. I mean, yeah. that was that was one of the moments that. So I I've, I've seen it twice now. <laughs> so the first night that I went to go see it was Thursday night, and I'm the opposite. So I like the energy. I like the clapping. It it, yeah. I don't, it feels like opening day. Um, so, so I saw it again on Saturday and it was a let, it was a lesser crowd or it was, it was, it was a packed house, but it was very quiet throughout the movie. Yeah. And uh, so I did, I did, I'm like you, like if I missed something, because when the clapping was happening, I was like, well, what happened? Which is ha what happened? Yeah. So I, I, I got, I got that the second time around, but yeah, that moment right there was, uh, was, was pretty awesome to see on the screen. Yeah. That was, that was a pretty cool shot, man. And, uh, like, uh, you had mentioned like I, we we talked beforehand. Like uh, yesterday, I was at a uh, my boy Javier uh, Heavy had a birthday party at his house, a little party, and so I was over there and I was talking to Billy, and then Billy had watched it, and and then like we we started mentioning some things about it, and then like I had to sit down and think. I was like, man, did I just forget all the movie? Yeah. I was like, I had just watched it like the day before, and yeah. I was like, man, did I already forget all the stuff that happened? Like it, like I couldn't remember how how it started. Okay, and then so. If I remember right, the opening scene was, was it uh, Tony, like Tony Stark, like in the spaceship? No, it was actually started a little before that was Hawkeye with uh, when his, when he was with his family, he was showing his daughter how to shoot oh, the arrow. Oh, that's, that's right. So that's the very beginning. Yeah. That was the very beginning. So it can't, it can't, that, that, that shows the lead up to uh, Thanos, the snap. Right. Right, yeah. so they give you a little, a little like Infinity War in the beginning with yeah. the whole the dusting of the family, uh, which was, was I think was shot pretty well. I mean, it, it yeah. set the tone, you know, kind of like a little refresher. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was the beginning of the film with Hawkeye, and and it, you know it, it kind of leads up to where he's going to be at, in the in the film. Yeah, you know, you know, it, it explains this is the reason why he's you know going crazy. You know? Yeah. So yeah, that was the start of the film, and then. The credits came out for Marvel, and then that's when we saw Captain America with Nebula. So that was the next, okay. the next, next scene. Next, next did it feel like three hours for you? No, it didn't. It went by like super fast. I know. Same thing with me. Yeah. I mean, it did not feel like three hours. The, but, go ahead. The only reason, like, I looked at my phone for a time was because, like, I, I was kind of pushing it. Like, I had to go like uh, drop my mom off at work, uh -huh. and then I was like, all right. The the earliest showing was like at ten o'clock. Yeah. And then I was like, I knew it was going to be three hours. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I had to pick up my mom like, at, at 1.30 oh, wow. to take her to work. So I was like, all right. <laughs> and then, so, and then, like, of course, like, I didn't take in part the, like, the, the 15 minutes, like, beforehand where they're showing, like, the, the other previews. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. the other trailers. And then so that kind of pushed it. And then so, 
Yeah, I was like, that's the only reason why I looked at my phone because uh, nah, it went by. To me, it went by quick. Right. Like yeah. especially that and uh, Infinity Wars too. Infinity Wars didn't seem that long either. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So the best part for me was obviously the whole Thor. But did did you have another moment that's that, that sticks out to you? Uh, as like a great like moment, man. I guess we could get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's, let's break it. Let, let's, let's get into I'll it. Fo- I'll follow your lead. Okay, because the the beginning of this movie, I felt like, uh, you know, when they're showing like the, the you know, after the snap part, it felt like, uh, let me say it this way. I felt this, this end game was a more of a traditional style movie. Okay. It was more of a traditional style movie where if you reflect back onto Infinity War, Mm -hmm. Infinity War was just like intense, like all the time, right right from the beginning. I remember the opening scene in Infinity War was uh, when uh, uh, they were on the spaceship and then uh, like Thanos had already beat everybody. And then the whole uh, Loki Loki scene and he kills Loki right at the beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, so this is happening right from it. We just jumped right into it. And then so... That was Infinity War was just intense the entire yeah. time. Yeah. Like it was like high stakes. You felt like there's like, oh right. man, like what's gonna happen? What's mm-hmm. gonna happen? What's gonna happen? With this movie, I felt it was like a a, a more of a slow build up. Right. It was a slower build up where you're you're kind of just like it kind of shows like the aftermath for a while, mm-hmm. and then you kind of. They this do. One, yeah, this one had the storytelling into it. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 I lo- which I like the storytelling with it, but I felt like I wanted more screen time for the characters, the individual characters. Right. Because I feel like they could have like, because it was a big en- ensemble cast. Mm-hmm. So and there's all these superheroes, and then so of course like there's gonna be some superheroes that get less screen time than the others. Right. And. Uh, yeah, man. So with this, I felt like, man, I, I I wanted more from like certain characters. Like I really wanted more Captain Marvel. I wanted more Captain yeah. Marvel in this movie. Yeah. Like, no, after her, after seeing her for movie, yeah, you knew she was gonna play a big part in Endgame. Yeah. You you just didn't know how. Uh-huh. But I agree with you. I mean, they gave us a little tease, or they gave us a little bit of Captain Mar Captain Marvel at the very beginning of the film, where she she's the one that saves Nebula and and Tony Stark. Yeah. Um, and then they, they cut back to when they, when they go to, uh, Avenger headquarters and you see her a little bit there and then she goes away. But yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. I, I wanted to see a little bit more Captain Marvel. Um, but you, they, they didn't give it, you're right. I mean, yeah. she didn't get enough screen time. Yeah. I feel like way more Captain, they, we need way more Captain Marvel, man. I don't know, man. It was, uh, she was one character I wanted more screen time. Uh, I felt like another one was probably Star Lord. Yeah, yeah, Star Lord. Yeah, yeah, he I, was. He's he's one of my favorites. Yeah, uh, but you had to consider the whole, yeah. you know, the whole dusting. You know, you. I think this movie you can't compare Infinity War and Endgame just because of they're two different films. You yeah. know, in Infinity War you had all your characters, uh, and then that was Thanos' film because he's mm-hmm. the one that you know did the snap. You know, you know, devastate or uh, vanished. You know, half half of the population. Uh, so this film, you, kn- I knew going into it, and plus, I, you know, I read a lot of theories. Yeah. This film was going to be more about the original uh, Avengers. You yeah. know, Captain- and you could tell that. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty pretty apparent that it was yeah. more like geared towards like the original Avengers. Right. Yeah. So with you know with Quill or like or called them Quail yeah, at the Quill. very yeah. <laughs> that, was uh, that was pretty funny. I, I like that dyna- d- dynamic with Star Lord and, and 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 Thor. I think I yeah. think that's gonna be a good pair leading up to other movies. Yeah. But you know you know Quill uh well the everybody Spider Man you know yeah, Spider Man didn't get much Green yeah, because they, they came at the very end. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, when they came back, it was such an epic. The the way they came back, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to talk about already the end, or did you want to get, like start from the very beginning? Um, I mean, what else? I mean, what did what did you think? I don't know. Go ahead. What were you gonna talk about? I was just like leading up, like when you had mentioned with Hawkeye, and then like how he went crazy. Right. I knew that he was gonna get like the, uh, the become the Ronin. Right. I knew that was going to be happen from the beginning, from like before uh, 
before Infinity Wars. Mm. Like I already knew that was gonna come up. Like I already knew he was like gonna, his character was gonna yeah, do that change. Yeah, he was gonna go to that change. And I also read somewhere it's funny they never mentioned his new name. They never said Ronan in the film. Did they? Ne- they I, never. I did. think they. Mm-mm. They they didn't. No, they never mentioned Ronan. Yeah. I mean, they all they called him was Clint. They either yeah. they called him Clint or what's his last name? Clint Barnes. Barnes. Clint Barton. Barton. Clint yeah. Barton. Barton. So they never mentioned Ronan. Uh, all you saw what the, the transformation was a haircut. And the tattoos that he that he got, uh, but I and the and the uniform and the uniform, yeah, he yeah. went he went all black, all samurai, yeah, which sam- is a good look, yeah. you know. That was cool. The, the 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 all black uniform with like the gold trimming, yeah, yeah, and and, and he switched it up to swords, right? Like, instead of using the bow and arrow, mm-hmm. he was mainly using a sword. So yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool, man. Uh, I actually thought he was gonna have like a he was gonna play more of a. I thought he was going to come like later in, like later on into the movie. Yeah. Like I didn't know he was, they were going to incorporate him right from the beginning mm-hmm. because he was missing in the entire right. Infinity War right. movie, the first one. So, yeah. So it, it was, uh, I, I really liked that. That uh, transformation was cool and how they explained it. That was, that was pretty cool. The reason why he, he yeah, did all of yeah. Yeah. So he went crazy and tried to get revenge on everybody because, you know, Thanos killed like, his family right and then so like thanos killed half the population on the right. earth but then he what he was like he was trying to justify him killing like the bad guys he was killing like gang members and like stuff like that so he's like yeah okay. that whole dialogue that he was having with the with the the, the i guess the kingpin of yeah, uh, tokyo the, yeah he's like why are you doing this he goes you know everybody else got thanos you get you have to you have you have to deal with me yeah so that was pretty cool. Yeah. So he was he was like on a mission to kill like every bad guy that mm-hmm. survived. Right. Because he wanted revenge because his family died. Right. Uh, that was that was pretty cool. What did you think about the very beginning when they first went into Thanos and they and then uh, that whole sequence where they were looking for the stones and Thanos was all like, you know, I don't have them. I got rid of them. Yeah. And then Thor oh. had, uh, Thor had that moment where you know he had that little you know well first you know. And if you remember from an Infinity War, he didn't go. He didn't go for the head. He yeah. hit him in the chest, and you could tell in Thor in the very beginning that was still weighing on him. Mm-hmm. So he shows up. You know, he he doesn't want to hear Thanos at all, and he just chops him up, man. Yeah. He just chops his head off. I did not see that coming. Did you see that coming? Uh I didn't see that. That that was a surprise too. I guess that was one of my top moments, like in the film, yeah. just just to see that. Like all the other characters were like having like a conversation with right. Thanos, but then and he just comes up and Thor was just, just not having it. Once he said that he doesn't have it. Mm-hmm. And then, Oh, once, once Nebula said that my, my father's not a liar right. or whatever. And then, so that's when, you know, that was the tipping point for like, uh, for Thor. Right. And he just cut the head off. Yeah. Which I, that was cool. You see the blood spat, splatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that, Nebula. Was, that was a, that was a cool moment in the movie theater. Everybody's all like, you could hear the, like the silence and like, yeah. you could hear everybody's like, okay, so where do we go from here? Yeah. Uh, and then the whole sequence was um, it went black screen and then you didn't see anything for a good seconds. And then you see the the five years later. Yeah. You know, it didn't say like, you know, five days later, it went straight to you. you there was some time that took place five years later. You kind of see the aftermath of New York. Mm-hmm. It's all dark and gloomy. Yeah. It's empty. And then uh, did you notice that it, with uh, with um, Captain America when they were having that uh, what, what what do you call those meetings those because uh, he was with the like individuals that were dealing with the aftermath of of losing your loved ones yeah. which in and and that particular part is they're not AA meetings that's, they're that, not that's what I was gonna say yeah, they're not not alcoholic anonymous meetings they're uh, they're more like like uh, I know when. That setting is kind of like the setting uh, in like Punisher, where like the like the war veterans like yeah, yeah, yeah. they're trying to oh, like uh, P PSTDs is that what this PTSD PS uh, yes yeah I had it P- backwards yeah yeah <laughs> PTSD like like a little meeting of like all the group and he's right. like telling everybody like it's time to move on right basically. right right and did you notice that was the one of the directors the the one that yeah it was? yeah yeah uh, when Joe, Russo yeah Russo of, yeah. Yeah. did that yeah. did that throw you off did that no, nah, I was cool with it. Okay, like it didn't bring me out. It didn't. It didn't bring me for out. for me. It kind of did, but then I went br- right back in it. Yeah. Uh, but I would, you know, if I was a director, I would want to put myself in a movie too. I yeah. Mean, I, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. But it did. It did throw me off just a little bit, just because I knew who, who he, he was. was. Okay. And uh, but no, I mean, I, I, 
I got over it, you know, in, in seconds. But mm-hmm. uh, that transition to uh, to Scott Lang's character, we they brought in Ant Man. Yeah. I, I think that was the next that was the next setup yeah. with the whole you know Ant Man explaining quantum quantum the quantum realm. Yeah, the quantum, which where he that's where he was stuck at during the whole Thanos right. situation. So, did you did you see Ant Man and the Wasp? Yeah, I saw okay. that. Okay, I, I yeah. saw that. Yeah, because my I was talking to my sister about the film, and she was all like, "It's a good thing that I watched Ant Man and the Wasp because if not, I would have been so lost with the whole quantum realm." Yeah. So yeah, if you're if you're still watching or go watch Ant Man and the Wasp if yeah. you haven't seen it first, because that that'll explain a little bit more. Yeah, but you know that explains why he was missing right like, during the 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 Infinity Wars movies. Then brought him back. Uh, I thought Ant Man probably had uh some of like the funniest yeah. moments yeah no like, for, yeah for sure like throughout the film no no, no. I, I love ant-man i love i love the, the way they used them for comedic purposes yeah he was kind of like the audience kind of like you know putting in like you know, trying to figure things out yeah like like he's part of the team but he's like really he doesn't feel like he's part of the team right. he's like he's the normal guy on the team basically right. And like, like everybody else is like the the, the superstar heroes, right. and you know that everybody knows them. Nobody knows who Ant Man is, that and whole, they kept that joke like throughout the whole movie. That whole sequence with uh, he wanted to take a picture with the kids. I was like, hey, you guys want to take a picture with me too? <laughs> yeah, the Hulk, the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was cool. Where that they have like uh, with with Hulk, he's being able to like control it now, and then he's basically able to communicate. You know, being in Hulk form, right? Or where he was saying that you know before he was afraid of it, right? It was he said it was a disease. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool too because we've never seen that on screen before. It's either Bruce Banner, yeah, or it's or it's the Hulk. So to have both of them in the same movie, which was was pretty cool. So I think they called him Professor Hulk in the comics. I don't know if they if that's what he's considered, mm-hmm. but or I don't know if that's what they called him in the movie. But in the comics, I'm not a comic book. I'm not a comic book person. I like the movies, but uh, I think my brother was the one that referenced it. That you know, that's considered Professor Holt. Okay. So yeah, I thought that whole sequence was was good. was good. W- was was funny with the kids wanting wanting an autograph. Yeah. And you know, like you know, Scott Lang was all like, "Hey, do you want to take a picture with me?" I'm like, "No, no, nah, I don't want. Yeah. Who are you?" <laughs> yeah. And then he and like Hulk was like, "Oh, I'll take a picture." Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, trying yeah. to convince him too, right? Yeah. yeah. Just to make him feel better. Yeah, that was that was a good little scene, and that set up. That was taking part of when uh, basically Captain America was trying to get the Avengers to the original Avengers to assemble again, basically right. trying to get the whole team together. Right. So going into the film, I didn't know anything about that. I we talked about it briefly that you know so you, this you you stayed away from spoilers. You didn't want to know yeah. anything about it. I didn't see no trailers or anything. The only I only saw like one image. The one image I saw was of like Captain America and the other. The, the the other team members walking up to the to the machine. Oh yeah, yeah. Like in the in the, the, the in red the, and the, the white, white suits. jumpsuits. Yeah, yeah. Well, not jumpsuits, but they were like yeah, the yeah yeah. So that, that was the only shot I saw. Okay. Like other than that, no information whatsoever going same, into the movie. Same thing for me. I it was so hard. I, I watched I watched all the trailers leading up to it, but they didn't get, they didn't show you much. And I think yeah. they even said that that was on like like the first half of the movie. Um, but what did you think of the overall plot of like you know? So going into it, I had no idea what they're going to do. How are they going to, you know, bring everybody back? Mm-hmm. So they they established time travel. Yeah. So what 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 did you take away from that? I mean, we've seen time travel before, and they even referenced it in, in you know all the all, <laughs> all the, the time movies, tra- all the time travel movies. <laughs> yeah. And I, I love time travel movies. He was basing his whole plan off of Back to the Future. Oh, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. And he's yeah. like, okay, so pretty much what we have to do is yeah. avoid seeing each, <laughs> seeing ourselves yeah. and not bet on any sports games. <laughs> and 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 uh, an Iron Man or uh, Tony. Stark was all like are you basing everything off you know back to the future <laughs> and back to the future is one of my favorite movies yeah i love i love back to the future uh but yeah i, I love that whole sequence where they were they, they were dropping like you know terminator mm-hmm. they were dropping uh hot top hot what hot tub time machines yeah, like that yeah. so i thought that was pretty cool but yeah. what did you think about you know it, the end uh the movie end game being a time travel movie and and, and, and ant-man called it a time heist. Yeah. <laughs> so what did what did you think about that? Uh, I thought it was a good way. This whole movie, like I went in, like I kind of already knew what was going to happen at the end. I With- I kind I kind of already knew. So I knew some way that they were going to figure out a way to bring everybody back. Right. 
and then that they were going to stop Thanos. Right. That I I felt was the good guys have to win. Yeah. I think honestly, I think that's probably why I liked. I think I, I'm going to say I liked Infinity Wars better than Endgame. I was I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Even though you can't compare them because they're both different films. Yeah. But. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I, I went into the movie like, okay, I kind of know what's going to happen at the end. Right. Now I just got to piece it all together and see how, you know, how they're going to get there. Right. But I, I felt like in this movie, like I was kind of a step ahead of like, you know, I kind of had a, like an idea of where, where they were, where they were going, going throughout the movie. Unlike in Infinity Wars where I like, okay, I have no, right. they, they threw me off from the opening scene. I'm like, right. oh man, I'm in it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like I was just like lost in it. And then, uh, but with this movie, uh, one thing I did enjoy was I never felt like I was, it didn't take me long to get into it. Like I was into the story. Like I was involved, mm-hmm. which I mentioned like was one of my little critics about Captain Marvel. Like I feel like Captain Marvel, it took me a little while to to stop analyzing everything that's yeah. going on and just get into the story and then just just watch the movie and enjoy the movie. Right. Where in, in this case, I I didn't have that issue with with the with Endgame. Like I was enjoying it, watching it from the like I wasn't analyzing every little detail right. or anything like that. So it was able to put me into the story, mm-hmm. and then so I could just like go along with the ride. But uh, I enjoyed it. It was good. Like, but I felt like always a step ahead. I was I was always a step ahead of what was actually on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. So it. In that sense, I feel like, you know, Infinity Wars was better. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. I, th- yeah. I, th- I thought Infinity War had, had, a, had, a, had a plan as far as, you know, this is Thanos' film and this is, you know, you know the, it was, the whole mission was to collect the stones. Yeah. And, so, and, and we saw that. Um, with this one, like you said, you know, we already kind of had an idea, you know, mm. these guys are going to be coming back. It was just how yeah. are they going to get them back? Yeah. What I did like about Endgame was um, they... They hit it out of the ballpark with the pairings of of the of the time heist. Okay, the teams, the teams, because they had to they had to separate into what was it? Three different teams. Three different teams, yeah. Because yeah. they they found out that uh, three of the Infinity Stones were in New York at the same time. Yeah. So in in New York, you had uh, Thor, Tony Stark, Hulk, and Ant Man. Yeah. And then for the Soul Stone, you had. Ronan and Natasha, Black, yeah, Black, Black Widow. Widow. Yeah. And then you the last crew was my favorite crew was Rocket and and Thor to go get the reality stone. Yeah. Um so yeah, so they, they 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 paired them up nicely. I thought everybody brought something to the table. Yeah. That whole storyline of, you know, going back in time to to the to the stones. And then I I also liked how they incorporated the pin particle. So they were yeah. limited in like right. how many like how many tries they could get at right, this. Right, right. So they had like a limited amount of tries. So it was like, all right, like we got to be as efficient right. as possible or else everybody's not going to be able right. to come back. And that's what I appreciate about this film is that yeah. even though it's a big blaster film, a big blockbuster film, yeah. they took the time to explain that. You know, they took the time to like, you know, because, you know, us, we'll be breaking down a film like, well, how did that happen? How could yeah. they do that? But they took the time to show us, like, okay, you know, they, there was consequences if you if you you messed up on one. Mm-hmm. And Ant Man was actually one of the first ones to mess up, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. talking about, all right, we have two tries. <laughs> yeah, and he, he wasted he, one. He, he wasted one. He goes, okay, now we're down to one. <laughs> so yeah, no, th- this movie had some uh, had some moments where you know it just you know it, it was the whole the whole movie was fun. Yeah. Um, but I really enjoyed you know going back in time, and it it, it had some elements of Back to the Future where when they first showed up in New York, yeah, they could see they could see each other you know they could and the whole go ahead basically they took you back to to parts in old movies right so they went back to like the the avenger the first avenger the first avengers in 2012 yeah, when the when uh loki was invading mm-hmm. new york right and that whole that whole chaos they that's where tony stark captain america ant man and uh the hulk the hulk that's yeah. their the one they went to and then uh completely lost my train of thought <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it was it was something like 
what were we talking about for real? What were we, t- we were talking about the the uh, the whole setup of you know like the different teams, the different teams. Okay, yeah, you, uh, you were, we were talking about New York, the whole New York scene. Oh, bring it back to to other movies, right? The, the other parts of the other right. movies. So, so in this 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 it's technically it was almost like a flashback, like like a flashback episode right. to like uh you know they would do that a whole bunch like in in uh, TV shows right. and stuff like that. But you're going into like incorporating like old parts. And right. Actually, I enjoyed that because it brought back old memories. Yeah. Of like, uh, like I, leading up to this movie, I didn't like go back and watch all the movies. I yeah. just watched Captain America, the ones I hadn't seen. I hadn't seen. I mean, Captain Marvel. Okay. I hadn't seen Ca- Captain Marvel. I just watched that, and then I went into, I went into the to Endgame. So, it was refresh. I I enjoyed the whole flashback mm-hmm. part. So and you see you kind of, they see themselves in like their old part, parts, right. and what was real funny was uh, uh the Hulk part when right. they went, got back to New York, right? And then so uh, Hulk is like crazy, like the the the, the original Hulk, the, the original Hulk, the the 2014 Hulk, no 2012, 2012 Hulk in the first he, Avengers movie. Right. So he's like smashing everything, angry, real yeah. mad, and then so. The 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 more the, civilized Hulk yeah, now the the, the 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 smart Hulk right. Professor Hulk or rather comes in he's like I don't want to be mean yeah, yeah. he's like <laughs> oh that was, was that really me <laughs> yeah and they, they they told him to go like throw stuff or whatever yeah and then so he's like <laughs> like pretending to hit and that's one of the things that we didn't see in Endgame we didn't see because in Infinity War uh. Bruce Banner was having trouble turning into the Hulk. Yeah. You know, because well, well, actually the Hulk did come out in the very beginning of Infinity War. Yeah, he got beat. He got beat by, by Thanos. By Thanos. Yeah. And then so I don't know. They never explained, you know, was was the Hulk just afraid to come out again? Uh, yeah, because he, he knew he was going to lose. Right. So so basically there was a point when the movie where uh, Bruce Banner or when you Hulk, he says it. He was like, well, he kind of felt bad because... He didn't lose to, to to Thanos twice. He to once. He lost to him twice. That's right. That's he right. Got, he, he beat him as the Hulk, and he beat him as Bruce Banner. That's true. So he, that he was like that. That was something that weighed at weighed on him. Right. Like since since uh, Infinity Wars. Right. So that was one reason why he went on this like he went on this journey and to that's become right. that's Professor right. Hulk basically. Right. 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 Uh, because of that. Right. So yeah, so that that's one of the things that we didn't get to see in Endgame is like in the, the Hulk, you know, he didn't he really didn't um do didn't any fight. he didn't fight. Yeah. He he really didn't. I mean, his big thing, well, I don't know if we're jumping ahead, his big yeah. thing in the film is when they, he was the one that st- you know, he stepped up and he was like, oh, "You know what? It's yeah. going to be me. I'm to, I, to put it on the glove. To put on the glove yeah. um and, and to do the to do the whole snap the fingers to bring everybody back." Yeah. Um but I like the whole scenes where they, when they go back in time and they go back to different eras. Yeah. Um, and, it, you know, if, if it was me, that's how I would do it, too, is like, you know, go back in time. If you're trying to fix something from your past, kind of like yeah. see you see what you were and and trying to, you know, try to avoid that. Um, but the one that I wanted to talk about was uh, I mean, we have to bring it up. You know, if, the, if you if you're watching um, Thor, when we see Thor for the very first time, because b- before before oh, yeah. before assemb- assembling the team, yeah. I think no, I think Tony Stark was all like t- t- telling Cab, like, okay, we got a team. We, w- what's our plan? He goes, hey, we're, we're we're bringing everybody back. So Rocket and and Hulk go to the new Asgard. Yeah, and I did not see that coming. Did oh, you Did you see that coming? No, with, I didn't. With, I didn't with know. Thor? I didn't know. So we got ourselves a melted ice cream, like rock in Rocket's term. He's like, you yeah. look like melted ice cream. We got yeah. a we got a fat Thor. Yeah. So did you see that coming? No, I didn't see that coming. Which I I enjoyed it. I yeah. enjoyed seeing him that like that. I, I did too. I, yeah. I thought it was funny. Uh, some people probably won't like it, but yeah. you know, uh, Chris Hemsworth has said it himself. Like he didn't like uh, Thor one and Thor two just because he felt like it wasn't him. Like you know, he uh, Thor Ragnarok was the one that Chris Hemsworth said like you know it's fun. This, he wants to be a different Hulk. Yeah, or a yeah. different a different Thor. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah. yeah, he wanted to be a different Thor. So in this one, he got to be he got to play a, another Thor, which was Fat Thor. So he yeah. was, I he, mean, which is which is cool because going back through through the comics, like they're just taking like little like uh, through the evolutions, they're taking like different stages right. of Thor and, and then incorporating it back into yeah into into the movies, which which I felt like that was cool. Yeah, and then so so yeah, so when they uh they go to find Thor, 
He's he's uh, he's a fat Thor, and he's basically a gamer now. Yeah. <laughs> that whole that whole that, that whole scene was hilarious. Yeah, that whole sequence was hilarious. With yeah. the, like you know, uh, they brought back the guys from Thor Ragnarok. The yeah. the um, I think Mike a, uh, Korg. Yeah, Korg. They brought Korg back, yeah. which is Ta- Taika, oh, the, the director Taika Waititi, or yeah, yeah. Taika Waititi or Taika Wakiti. Watiti. What Taika Watiti. Yeah. And he was all like, Thor, the, the kid's back. And yeah. so he was kind of like a, a like a parent. He like, you yeah. know, I'll, I'll, you know, I thought that scene was hilarious. Ooh, yelling at the, the little kid that bothers him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's pretty much a gamer now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think they were that, playing Fortnite. Too. They're, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's pretty cool just to see that, you know, they're bringing elements of today's society yeah. and they use it in the film. But uh, yeah, I, I thought Thor was other than uh, Ant-Man. I thought Thor was the other comedic performance, you yeah. know, even though he was you could tell that the whole Thanos thing was just weighing on him. He was just getting drunk. He was, mm-hmm. you know, got the beer belly. Yeah. Uh, but him, uh, they even referenced it too when when they when they brought him back, he, he was all like, you know, we had we got beer, we got we got beer in the yeah. in, on the spaceship. He's like, that's, what what kind? Yeah, that's basically the the, the tipping point that got him to the to, yeah. to go back and join the team because he really wasn't interested. Right, in it. right. He yeah. was he was done with the whole Thanos. Like, you yeah. know, don't give me any hope. And then he shows up to uh, the Avengers. Uh, the Avengers facility. Yeah. He's got the whole long hair, the shades. I think Tony Stark even made a reference to it. Did you hear him say, uh, move out, move, move, move away. The, the big Lebowski. Yeah. 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 The big Lebowski. He said that get out the way. Cause he looks just like yeah. him. I mean the whole, I, th- I thought that whole dynamic was, was, was hilarious. Um, and I thought his relationship with rocket, cause we got a little bit about, we got a little bit of that in infinity war, where you know he, uh, Thor called uh, Rocket uh, rabbit. Sweet rabbit, sweet yeah. rabbit, and yeah. all that type of stuff. So we got to see that dynamic uh, when they went back in time mm-hmm. to Asgard, mm-hmm. and um, you know Thor handling the whole situation. He was all like in tears. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah. Got slapped around, and um, so I think out of the time, to- the whole time travel, uh, those those two guys were my favorite, uh, just because it was it was the, the comedic performance. Yeah. The other, the other one uh, was, was I don't know, did it hit you hard? Did you see that coming? Like, going into the film, we knew some people were going to die. Yeah. Did you see, and uh, here's another spoiler alert, yeah. but did you see Black Widow being one of the ones that, you know, I, died? Yeah. Did you see that coming? I saw that coming. Did you? Yeah. How did you I see that coming? Be, I knew it was going to be her. But first first off, they're going to, to, to what was the place? Volmir. Volmir? Yeah. They're going to Volmir. And then, so you already know what happened in Infinity Wars, right. where uh, Thanos had to uh, sacrifice Gamora to get the Soul Stone. So uh, yeah, so it's Black Widow and uh, Hawkeye or Ronan, right. Clint. Right. They go. They 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 went back to they went to Volmir and try to get the Soul Stone. And so you know somebody's gonna yeah. have to die. Yeah. One of those two is gonna have to die. Right. And then how I knew this was because of the disney service the streaming service that they're coming out with right because when they announced like their whole streaming service right, right, right. they announced uh they announced that uh that hawkeye was gonna get like a a mini series oh that's right that's right well yeah. they're also doing something for black widow she's getting a movie that's right so she's getting the movie yeah so now people are saying is this a prequel or is this is this gonna be after uh or do you think they're bringing her back I think she comes back. You think so? She comes back. Does that take away the Does that take away the effect that the it gives death. you? An in, the, yeah, the death scene. Uh, if they do bring her back, no, I thought I still thought the 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 death was uh, impactful. Yeah, because this was a scene be, between like two the original Avengers, right? So you got Natasha and, and Clint, and before the Avengers even formed, these two characters already had history together. Right, they already went on like. You know, there were already basically hired assassins mm-hmm. going around. Right. You know, they keep doing, doing missions together. Right. They keep bringing up Budapest. Yeah. I, I, I saw that in the original Avengers. They were talking yeah. about like, you know, this reminds me of Budapest. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And so it, it got back into to their dynamic and their mm-hmm. history together. And then, you know, when they were like on the spaceship traveling, you know, he, and those two were, were talking and, you know, he, he was like, you know, in any other circumstances, this would be really cool that there would be f- like going on a mission together and flying through space, right. you know, uh, to get something. But, you know, they kind of knew, you know, right. w- you know, you know, Clint had lost his all family. Right. Thanos had killed half the population, yeah. you know, and they're just trying to fix stuff. 
So they knew that the the you know you know, and they had limited tries to do this, and then so you know they knew that the 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 stakes were high for them, mm -hmm. and then so yeah, man, I actually liked the 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 battle when they're like trying to decide who is going to be the yeah. one to sacrifice themselves. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a little bit different. The whole dynamic with, yeah. with, uh, with, uh, Thanos and Gamora, you know? Yeah. So they, I liked that They went back to the same place. It, the red skull was still there. Yeah. You heard, you heard similar dialogue, but mm -hmm. you know, I like the fact that, you know, both of them were, and that's who they are. You yeah. know, they both wanted to, they both wanted to be the one to help out. Um, uh, so yeah, and, and it, it so I saw it twice, right? Yeah. So I didn't see it coming the first time. The second time I picked up on a lot of stuff, more dialogue, and I think the second time seeing it, it, it sunk a little bit more because if you notice the dialogue with Black Widow, you know, at the very before um, when they were at the uh, time travel machine, yeah, and they were all looking at each other when when Captain America gave his Captain America speech, everybody was all pumped. Yeah. And uh, Black Widow, she was the last one to say something before they did the jump, and she said, "See you in a minute." Yeah. So I don't know. Did you catch that when she said that? Uh, I thought she was. I don't like, think. I don't think I caught. That. So she was the last one to say something, and she goes, "See you in a minute." So yeah. that knowing knowing the second time, I was like, "Ah, oh, she's not the one that she's not coming back." Yeah. And then uh, what was another like a hint? that she knew this was coming was at the beginning, you know, uh, when they're, uh, when Captain America comes to like the Avengers headquarters, right, right, right. it's Natasha that's there. Yeah. She's the one that's there and she's the one that's kind of like getting everybody, sending everybody on a, on a mission to right. find Clint. Right. So, and then she sent a uh, war machine. Right. War machine was out like looking for Clint or whatever. Right. And then she just, uh he gave him like the update and stuff like that and then like you could tell like it was wearing that you know she was worried about clint and she mm -hmm. just wanted to get clint back you right because he she knew that he was doing like some some bad stuff or some yeah. heavy stuff or whatever he was into some some things and then so yeah man it was it was uh I knew that from the beginning it was gonna be her that that was one like not knowing that you know take away the 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 whole streaming service right, thingy yeah. that, <laughs> and that that kind of gave it away I knew that it was it was gonna be her that, that died. Which one was the most impactful death for you? Was it yeah. Gamora's death in Infinity War or was it Black Widow's death in Endgame? More impactful. Uh, I'm gonna say in uh, Infinity War, Gamora. Gamora. Gamora was more impactful for me because uh, even in, in their dialogue between each other, like Gamora, like I was like, like I knew that Thanos is gonna kill her, like I knew that was coming, but you know, Gamora still had no clue. Like she didn't realize right, right. that Thanos loved her. Right. Because she was going on that rant. She's like, yeah. you know, she's like, you, you never love anyone. Yeah, or... you're, you're, you're finally going to get what you deserve. You know, and now karma, she says something along the lines where like, you know, this is what you deserve now. And then yeah. he turns around and she sees him crying. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I think the Gamora death scene was a little bit more impactful. Um, uh, Black Widow was more like graphic though more gruesome yeah because they actually showed her yeah they showed yeah. her that you know the blood on on the on yeah because because th that was something they didn't show with uh, with gamora it no. was it was still like they kind of left it, it like, yeah it was kind of like a, a, a much it was a, like a wider frame and they had fog they yeah had fog i do so remember you that don't know, you don't you don't you, you don't really see the bottom right and this time now you got they showed you like the whole shot right and you could, you saw the bottom you right. saw where she landed yeah and so you know she died. Yeah. 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 And in, in, in that, it, it, um, it, that's a bit, that's a big impact. Cause you know, n knowing now what happened at the very end when Captain Marvel came back, mm -hmm. I don't know if I, you know, if, I don't know if I went a little bit too far, but oh, with, we could jump. but with, with the whole, all, all the girls teaming up yeah. at the very end. And so, you know, you can say Black Widow was the one that first started it. Cause she was actually the first one yeah. to come out. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of tough not to see her in that mm -hmm. in that screen. I mean, she got her she got her her screen time in uh, in Infinity War yeah. when the girls teamed up and they were uh, they were finding one of Thanos' children. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean Gamora and and Black Widow those those were impactful deaths, mm -hmm. you know, with the whole vol um, the Volmir Volmir and the Soul Stone. Yeah. But I want to bring up something. Uh, I don't know. Again, I'm I'm jumping ahead. Hey, we can jump all over the place, okay. man. Okay, because. Uh, now that we know that Captain America went back in time, mm -hmm. I'm curious to see if he put back the Soul Stone back with you know at in Volmir, 
you know, Red Skull was the one that mentioned, you know, a soul for a soul. Yeah. So so if he if he puts it back, does that mean if if you trade the soul stone, do you get a life back? Mm-hmm. I'm curious to see how they're gonna if if they're gonna bring that up in future films. Like, you know, if he if he had the chance, does he bring back Natasha or does he bring back Gamora? So I don't know. Yeah, we'll we'll go into theories. Okay, okay. My theory is uh they both get they're both alive they both come back they both come back yeah gamora gamora's gamora's alive and you know black widow comes back okay. that's how they tie it in how i'm how i'm thinking it is which i find like funny that uh you know the the soul for the soul part right that whole the whole line the whole dialogue around that yeah well uh you know Thanos using you know all the the stones together. He's he's able to wipe like in you know half the population right. of a planet. So you're telling me uh, with that much power, it can't bring back like one person's life, right? Yeah. It, so basically, they're saying that the people who 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 to get the Soul Stone, you have to lose, sacrifice right. somebody. Right. But I feel like that if if Thanos could kill half the population of Earth, then, or no, the universe, half the population of the universe, Mm -hmm. that it, you know, it has the the stones together have the power to to bring back one person. So I think, I think uh, Gamora comes back. She's alive. And I actually think that's what they're, that, that's going to be what, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Three is about finding or, Gamora, or as Guardians in the Galaxy. Yeah, as Guardians, <laughs> how how Thor says yeah. it. <laughs> that's that's probably mo- my most anticipated film. Yeah, uh, you know, even e- if it comes out next year. And I'm glad James Gunn is back, back. as the director. He's back. Yeah, he's back, yeah. So. I'm glad they brought him back. I'm I was mad that they got rid of him yeah, in the first place. Right. He had already apologized. Right. They had yeah. all the studio Marvel already knew right. about it. Yeah. And and for him to kick it out about some like ten year old tweets, right? You know, which, no. you know. So I'm glad he's back. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited yeah. to see what he's gonna do for for Guardians of the Galaxy three. Um, and I, I think you're right. I think, but here's the here's the, so here's the interesting part. Um, because Nebula, Nebula, mm-hmm. the the Nebula from two, 2014, you know her her chip or whatever in her in, in her in her head. Yeah. Uh, she starts to see what's happening with with the future Nebula, yeah, and that that allows Thanos to find out the whole plot, what the Avengers are doing, yeah. So by him finding out what they're doing, he was able to uh, send Nebula from the past to the future to bring him to the to the uh, to the to the future state. Mm-hmm. So I thought that scene was pretty cool that we got to see a 2014 Thanos because they 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 said it um, that they're nine years into the future. So the Infinity War took place in 2018, and then they jumped to five years, which is yeah. 2023. And so uh, I forgot the uh, Ebony Maw, the yeah. one, the one that was you know helping out uh, Thanos. He said that you know the 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 visuals that we're seeing is from nine years into the future. So if that's in 2014, we're looking at 2023 that we were that we were watching. Uh, I think the the that time might be a little wrong because i think they were watching it to the point where uh they were further because they jumped timelines so right. i think that was even before like they they were like uh, uh so you said they're 20 23 yes so nine years into the future so I think that point where they saw it was four years before. Right. So they were in 2014. They were, yeah, they were in 2014. And then so the images that 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 Gamora was seeing was nine years into the future. Right. So so the four years up to Infinity Wars and then five years onto mm-hmm. the like the five years later of the gap. Yeah, right. the gap. So. Yeah, this whole time travel. It is twenty twenty three. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's twenty twenty three. Yeah. And then the the images. Yeah, it was a two thousand two thousand fourteen Thanos. That Thanos was that, came, that that came. basically was the one they fought a two thousand fourteen Thanos. Right, they fought yeah. a twenty fourteen Thanos. I mean, and he looked awesome. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I was discussing this with with my brother uh, in Infinity War. He was more of a 
he he was on a mission. Yeah, he was collecting these stones. He he was doing whatever it took to 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 get the stones. Um, and so he had already the power stone. He had the space stone. So Infinity War Thanos was using more of the gauntlet. You know, yeah. in this one he it was did all him. It was all him. He yeah. didn't ha- he didn't have those stones. Yeah. So you got to see a little bit more of how ruthless Thanos was. Yeah. That when he comes back, he's able to take like fight fight off all those people without the stones. Right. So yeah. we got to see a little bit more of his fighting style. I mean, yeah. he looked he looked awesome. He was more menacing. Yeah. And he even said it in his dialogue too. He's like, you know, nothing personal. But now I'm gonna enjoy, you know, like destroying this earth down yeah. to its last atom. Yeah. So he was he was ruthless. Yeah, because because the 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 Thanos from Infinity Wars was still like he was just trying to. He felt like he was doing good. Right. Right. Yeah. He was more. He was like a like a what 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 did Doctor Strange call him? Like a like a prophet. Like you know he or I forgot what they called him. But yeah. He, yeah. In, in his mind, he was he was for the better of the universe. Right. You know. You know, because, you know, they felt like they were, uh, they didn't have like the, the, the amount of resources that right. they needed. They were depleting all their natural resources. Mm-hmm. I was like, they weren't going to survive either right. way. So basically, you know, for the, for the better of the, of the future, mm-hmm. that's why he was killing off everybody. Right. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to throw one thing at you. Yeah. I was like, all right. With the time travel, because you know it gets tricky. Right, right, right. All right, going back to the Infinity War Thanos. Right. Do you think that Thanos already knew that this was going to happen? Because remember when he fought, like Infinity Wars. Remember when he fought uh, Tony on his home planet. Yes. Uh, and w- where where he he already knew who Tony was. Right. He's like, I already know who you are. Yeah. Like, you're not the only one with knowledge or anything like right, that. Right, right. All right. And then going back to this movie where uh, where uh, he's watching Nebula's memories. Right. I think that's where he finds all the information from. That's how he knows about all these other people. That's okay. how he knows about Tony Stark. Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah. So I'm thinking either way, this was what's going to happen. Right. This was it, this it was going to play out no matter what. Right. So 2018 Thanos died there, you know, but 2014 Thanos died in 2023. Yeah, yeah that, that's one of the yeah. things with time travel. It gets tricky. It, it gets you know? messy. It, it gets messy. And the whole alternate timelines. Yeah, alternate timelines. Yeah. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I, it was one of those films where, like, they explained enough where I, I, I understood it. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely one of those films where you when you leave out of the theater, you're trying to piece everything together. I mean, I had conversations with my, my brother uh, my family, we were all talking about like, uh, uh, okay, so what does this mean? And mm-hmm. so yeah, I'm I'm with you. That I didn't. That's uh, that's interesting to to go back to Infinity War. That whole dialogue that he had with with Tony Stark. I you know uh, you know we're we're both cursed. You know you're not the only one cursed with knowledge. Yeah. So yeah, so that's interesting to look back on. Um, but who knows? Maybe he did know that this is. I mean, because he kept talking about this is my destiny. Yeah. You know, I'm inevitable. Um, yeah, I mean that whole sequence. I mean, you could you could definitely say that you know Thanos knew how how it was all going to turn out. Um, but I want to talk about. Or you, you were going to say something. I was just going to bring back another point of when uh, uh, that when Hulk used the stones, he mm-hmm. said he tried to bring back Natasha. Right. Yeah, he tried to bring her back. Mm-hmm. And that part of him trying to bring her back, does he bring back the Thanos that Thor killed? Interesting. You're right. Uh, yeah, because I mean, before he did the snap, everybody was or Tony Stark was telling him nothing, nothing, nothing before. You know, yeah. just bring back everybody back from the five years. And you know, yeah, I did hear that that you know Hulk was like, I try to bring her back. So you're right. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot. This movie has uh, this movie. So, so Thor, I'm, I'm just saying, it's a possibility Thor is still alive, even though it's it's. I mean, not Thor. Thanos, Thanos is still yeah. Thanos is still alive, and just just because you know Hulk tried to bring back Natasha, right. and trying to bring back everybody, and that that you know, if those events wouldn't have happened, mm-hmm. you know, Thor wouldn't have killed that Thanos. You know, so if so, just bringing that back. So, so then with the timeline again, 2014 Thanos is dead, but the Thanos that's 
you know, in Infinity Wars, the one that died early in Endgame right. gets, I think, gets brought back to life. I think be. that's a possibility. Could be, could be. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you you never know. Yeah. I mean, there's. I mean, they could they can they can definitely bring him back. I personally think he's done. Okay. I, th- I think. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just. It, it's. It's still. It's still a. It's still a possibility. Yeah. And we we he could, could still, exist in. Yeah. In, yeah, for sure. In the universe that they're going to use him again, probably. I, I don't think they are. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they are going to use him again as a character moving on. Yeah, but you know, in the in the whole sequence, yeah, I think. I think he's probably done, but you know, if yeah. you really just think about the future out there, I think right. it's a possibility right. that Thanos is still alive. Yeah, yeah. So hey, Thanos is still alive. You, you never know. Yeah. I mean, they could definitely bring him back. Uh, so the second time watching this film, uh, this this movie, the first two hours just seemed like forever. I like, I was like, because I wanted to get to that last hour, you yeah. know, because no one Cause was. It was a buildup. It was a buildup. Right. right. It was like okay, they were like it was basically in in a, it was more of a normal like three act right, movie right where they're like okay you find out you kind of figure out what's going on and then all right you they go on a journey basically and then they complete the journey right. complete their mission right that they you know or whatever so it, it, it was more this movie was more brought is more more broken down into like that and you're and then so it was all leading up to this one big fight scene basically right. there was not as much fighting i think it way there there was way more fighting in infinity wars and endgame right it was more storytelling more mm-hmm. more yeah, interaction between characters right. dialogue stuff like that but it didn't that. disappoint no, the, no. The, the, the fight scenes that they did bring in in game yeah. i i think i was telling i was talking to my brother i think even though I liked Infinity War with uh, with Doctor Strange and Thanos when they were fighting against each other, yeah. Thanos was using the gauntlet. Yeah. You know, it was it was he was using the powers that he, that he had. The whole fight sequence with Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Iron Man, yeah, and that was with, a, with Thanos, that was a cool one. That I mean, that I was yeah. waiting for that moment. It was just like yeah. it was it was so awesome to see. I was I was wondering, uh, you know, when 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 they're looking at him and Thanos is just waiting for them. You know, they ask him what has he been doing, and, and Thor is all like, he's just been sitting there. Yeah. He goes, I I want you to know that this is a trap, and he goes, yeah, we know. I was like, okay. <laughs> so when he calls when he calls both of it, yeah. the hammer and uh, 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 Stormbreaker, yeah. when he calls them, and he was transforming. I thought he was gonna go back to his like you skinny know self. like like, like his, yeah like his no. skinny stuff, but he kept the, he kept the look. Yeah. He added some braids to his hair. Yeah. He looked kind of like um, I don't know. He looked very he looked different. It was more of like a, a Viking style. Viking style, yeah. yeah Viking slash samurai. The way the the whole look. Um, but I thought that sequence that that was one of the best moments of the film. The three mm. three versus one. You yeah. got to see Thanos. You know, go at it with them, and then that brings back to our our top moment yes. of the film where you know. Um, where uh, where Captain America, you know, picks up uh, yeah. so, Mjolnir. Yeah, at that to leading up to that point, basically Thanos had beaten all of them. Right, and at he had Thor like like almost like in a like a chokehold. Yeah. and then uh, Thor was trying to. I think he might have been trying to 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 they they kind of almost insinuated that it could have been Thor that yeah, was trying yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. trying yeah. to get the hammer mm-hmm. trying to call yeah the because hammer. he had Stormbreaker in his chest yeah you know, it looked like you know it looked like th- you know. oh because he was about to he was pushing it down yeah he was pushing yeah. it down just the same way that it, it was reversed you yeah. know just like Thor was doing it to to Thanos in Infinity, Infinity War Wars. he yeah. was pushing it in he was doing the same thing on this one <laughs> so yeah at first I thought Thor was doing something like you know he, like he's gonna catch him from behind yeah. But then it was it was actually Captain America, yeah. and I thought that was pretty cool too because I know you're not a Star Wars person, mm. but I I don't know if you've seen The Force Awakens, nope. but the same thing happened with Ray in in The Force Awakens. Um, the lightsaber was on the other side, and she's the one that pulled it in, and nobody saw that one coming. So so that's like the frames was kind of the same shot of yeah. of, of Captain America picking up for the first time. And that whole sequence, man, when he gets it, he yeah. calls the thun, he calls the lightning, yeah. and then he's the way he's moving it around. That whole sequence yeah, that was, was amazing. Yeah, that I was mean, easily that was my favorite part of the movie. Oh yeah, easily hands my favorite. down yeah. the best part that of the film. That was so cool. I mean, that's that's what brought yeah. the energy to the to the movie theater. Um, but going into it, uh, going into it, well, I, I I'm jumping ahead. Uh, so they had the whole fight sequence, uh, and Thanos. That's when Thanos gives his speech because everybody's Iron Man is down, Thor is down, Captain America is down, yeah. and Thanos is the one that gives that big speech. Like you know, 
nothing personal, but now I'm really going to enjoy, you know, tearing this whole place apart. And then you can see all the army that Thanos has. I mean, yeah, all the, in. all the, all the, all the creatures, all, everything that he has in. And then probably the, one of the, you know, the second best moment of the film is when Captain America r- comes up and you can hear, uh, the fa- Falcon, Sam on his earpiece oh, okay. and, and he, and he's all like, you know, I, don't, I forgot the main line that he said, okay. but he says something like, look to your left. And then that's, that's when you saw Dr. Oh, Strange to your, to your left. What, what, what was it? I think it's to your left. To your left. Because that's a callback to uh, w- Captain America, the first movie that that uh, Falcon was in. Uh, was it Winter Soldier? I want to say yeah, it might have been Winter Soldier because of uh, you know uh, Sam when they when you first introduce Falcon, he's running around the. That's right. The, he's running around the in Washington yes, DC. Yes, yes, yes. The so little, it, so the it was pool. Winter Soldier. Yeah. Yeah, and then so and. Captain America's running around too. And every time he passes a by, he says to your left. Oh, uh, okay. Because he's running like and, on his left. And that's one of the things that I liked yeah. about this movie that th- this movie did a lot of references to to other films. Yeah, you know, to they, the old yeah the old movies leading up to this movie. Yeah, so there was you know I, I went back to see some films like I saw the original Avengers, I saw uh, Civil War, uh, I saw a little bit of uh, of Iron Man. So this movie did a really cool job of referencing old films. Yeah. Especially in that one scene during the heist, um, when Captain America is in the elevator with the Hydra oh, people. Oh yeah, that was another one to call that, back. A from, callback from, from Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, and yeah. he was all like, you know, uh, it's not necessary. I'll take it from here. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm gonna have to call that in. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So, so basically, the whole elevator, yeah. the fight scene in the elevator, yeah. just basically they're recreating it. Right. And then, but in instead of this time, you know. Uh, Captain America just leans over and says, Hail Hydra. Yeah. Which was, that was, that was, that was cool. Yeah. So this movie did a lot of cool callbacks yeah. and that was one of them to the left. Uh, and then obviously the best part was when, you know, you could see Dr. Strange, those, those, what, what, what are the, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Uh, his portals. There you go. Yeah. yeah I could, I couldn't think yeah. of the word, but then you could, you could start seeing the portals and he was bringing back everybody. So everybody at, was- at that time, that point that's when hulk already he used the the gauntlet right hulk had used the gauntlet yeah and brought back everybody that yeah. that thanos had killed right and then so so that's when you know he's opening up the portals yeah and at the same time that's when uh captain marvel gets there not a, not not was not it? right not not right there a little, late, a little bit later late. a little bit okay. later because um and and on thursday night man the crowd went crazy uh, you yeah. know the, you you would see the, the portals, portals came, yeah and everybody was starting to come out man there was so much cheering you can feel the intensity you can feel the energy um and then they then uh the the two basically the two sides they're all colliding right but before that captain america says the most famous line that we've been waiting for for 22 films avengers assemble oh, he says it again yeah because is that the first time he said it? that's the first time he ever said it so i think he no he almost he doesn't say in the first Avengers. No, no. So he teased it in, in Age of Ultron okay. at, at the very end of the film. There, like the Avengers, like he's on top of a balcony and he's looking down at the Avengers and he says Avengers and he's about to say it and they do a little cutoff. Oh, okay. So in this one, when yeah, everybody when it. everybody's lined up, it almost looks like a movie poster. Everybody's lined up. You know, Captain America is the one that says the whole Avengers assemble. So oh, that okay. that was the first time that he ever that that is said in a movie. Yeah. So and then yeah, so they start colliding. You know they, that was a great you know a, a great scene where you can see the whole you know, fighting, the whole fight scenes. Yeah. Um, it's not until when Thanos meets with um, uh, what's what's the Wanda? I forgot her Scarlet uh, Witch. Scarlet Witch. It's yeah. not until they get together and she's all like, you know, you took everything away from me. You know. And he's all like, I don't even know who you are. Yeah. That, I, you know, that was that was a little bit of humor from Thanos. He's yeah. like, I don't even know who you are. And yeah. he goes, You and she's like, You will find out who I am. So it was that whole sequence where she's using her powers on him, and you can tell like he's like starting to break. That's yeah. when he calls, like, you know, shoot down, like shoot the oh, missiles. Yeah, fire. Fire, yeah. fire away. And, yeah. and Ebony Maul's like, but our but uh, no, it was somebody else. He was all like, But what about our troops? He goes, just shoot it. That's when they started shooting down because he's sacri- It was Ebony Maul. Yeah. wasn't yeah so he was he was sacrificing his own people just yeah. to, just to, that way um <coughs> excuse me that way scarlet witch can let go of the um of the hole that she had that's yeah. when captain marvel marvel makes her appearance because okay. the the space ship starts shooting out and everybody's all like what are they shooting into and it's captain marvel coming oh, back oh yeah what did you right. think what did you think about her new haircut uh 
It was cool. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have a problem with I it. Like, I liked her with long hair. But I, long I, hair. I, I, I get it with the whole... Uh, they're trying to show that time has changed. Yeah, and she's the passing. Yeah, even Rocket made a, a little reference to it at the ver- in the very beginning of the film. She's all like, "I've been busy," and Rocket's all like, "What? You've been getting like you, you're gonna get a new haircut now?" <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's cool. Which also made me remember. I also thought it was funny when when Thor fe- first met Captain Marvel. Yeah, and then uh, this was back when. Okay, so this was already Fat Thor, and then so so uh, uh, Captain Marvel gets there. Yeah. And then uh uh she's like all saying her plan or whatever. Right, right, right. And I think she, like her plan was that she was gonna go kill Thanos. Right, right, that right. was her plan. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, I'm gonna go kill Thanos. Yeah. And then so he just goes up to her and just kinda kinda stands at her. Yeah. And is just like glaring at her and just like, I like her. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's <laughs> that was, cool. That, yeah. That, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. But like I wanted I wanted more Captain Marvel. I, I I would say this, like when they had all the the the, the girls mm-hmm. together right. on that one sequence, I felt that was a little forced. You think so? It was a little forced. I mean, I don't know. I think it, I think they kind of. It was. Uh, I I I enjoyed seeing all of them together. Yeah, but. To the point where all of them were at that one yeah. point. It was like convenient for yeah. all of them to be to right be, there. Yeah, to be right I mean, there they, where all the other battles right, going right. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they had to have their Beyonce moment, you yeah. know, that, that they had their moment where, but yeah, I agree with you where, you know, yeah. uh, Spider-Man was all like, how are you going to be able to do this on your own? And he is like, I think I can manage. And then all the girls started yeah. coming out. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I get what you're saying. It was you know, like how convenient for all them to be lined up. But it was still a pretty cool it moment. Was, it, was it, cool. it was a cool moment. That's yeah. another a poster, uh, like a, a freeze frame shot. Yeah. Um, but I didn't even know that in the comics, there's actually a, a comic book, and it's called the A Force. When it's it's the it's the women in in the Marvel that they have their own comic. So I don't know. Maybe that's a future installment where you know it, it's it, like it's She Hulk. It's uh, yeah. Uh, it's pretty much everybody that we saw uh, in 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 uh, Valkyrie. Yeah. Uh, Captain Marvel. Uh-huh. So I'm I'm excited to see you know what they're gonna do with that. But yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, going into it, I had like my top three. Okay, these these people these people are gonna die. Mm-hmm. I mean, because we're now we're going in towards the very end of the film. Um, I mean, because it was cool to see you know Captain Marvel right. go one on one with with Thanos. Yeah. You know, I I think she could have took her. You, she 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 could have took him. Yeah. Um, I think she could have took him. I think so too. I yeah. think so too. But then. Uh, then you see Doctor Strange, and he looks, and he and he's looking at 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 at, uh, at Tony Stark. Oh yeah, and he gives him the he gives him the the one, you know, because because yeah. Tony Stark was all like, all right, Doctor Strange, now that you're back, what's the plan? You know, tell me, is this the one scene that you saw? Yeah, and he's all like, if I tell you, it won't happen. Yeah, and now we know why. Yeah, you know, because if you would have told him. Tony Stark could, you know, now that he has a family, he's got a daughter. And I think the daughter was another good part of the film. Yeah. She was uh, the little girl that played the daughter, man. She was awesome. She's mm-hmm. the whole scene where she where she goes down and sees, sees her dad that uh, Tony Stark, he he, he he found a way to do the whole um, a time travel. Yeah. And and he comes in. And he's all like, oh, I, I got it. Yeah. And she and she repeats what he said and all that. She was she was good. Uh, but yeah. So if, if, if Tony Stark found out how it was going to go down do you, do you still think he does it no no i don't think he does it no no because because leading up to that whole point he like that was one thing he was he was adamant against like getting the whole right avengers back right. together because uh yeah because he's like no i have my life yeah, exactly he's yeah. like you know because you know captain america was the one that was telling him yeah. you know we this is our second chance and, yeah. and tony's all like i have my second chance you yeah. know i have my family so yeah no i mean that whole scene that whole scene where uh, you know him and him and Thanos are holding on to the gauntlet, yeah, and he does a whole switcheroo. He he gets the the uh, the Infinity Stones. I thought that moment was awesome. Yeah, that where was cool. where he you know because it, it again another reference to the first the original Iron Man yeah. where he's telling everybody I'm Iron Man. Yeah, and then he's he's got it. And he goes I'm Iron Man, and then yeah. he, and, and then he uh, that that was a that was a terrible snap. Let me do it again. Yeah, you know he, he, <laughs> he does the snap and uh, and. So I did not see Tony Stark, Iron Man. I did not see him dying in this film. Okay. I thought he was going to die. Really? Like, leading I, up, I, I thought he was going to die. Uh, I thought Captain America was going to die. I I, I would have put Captain yeah. America first. Yeah. I thought he was going to be the one that was going to do this big 
like sacrifice thing. Like there was going to be a moment where he was going to sacrifice himself. Um, so I would have put Captain America as my number one. I didn't see Tony Stark dying, mm-hmm. but I see why they did it because he's he was the one that started it back in yeah. 20, uh, 2008 with the first Iron Man. I didn't think so because I thought uh, his relationship with Spider-Man, I thought they were going to do a little bit more. Because, you know, in, in Homecoming, we saw that relationship. Yeah. He, he was kind of like a father figure to, to Peter Parker. Yeah. So I thought that maybe they would have kept that going. That's the only reason that Tony even thought about, like, you know, Coming figuring back, out, finger, figuring about time travel was because of Peter. Right, that whole yeah. scene where he's washing the dishes and yeah. he and he sees the picture, the picture, yeah. And, and yeah, because I think the next scene is him trying to figure out the whole, you know, uh, time uh, travel, time travel. Yeah. So yeah, no, it it was definitely his, you know, oh, his love then, for Peter Parker. And then the hug when he comes back, like yeah, when you know, when Doctor Strange brings everybody back yeah. through the portals, right, and that hug, and then yeah, yeah, so, yeah. and then so Peter's just going about like talking about all right. the stuff that's happened. Yeah, Peter Parker beating Peter Parker. He's yeah. like, we were gone, yeah. and now we're back. <laughs> and I, yeah, so. And then so, uh, you know, to shut him up, yeah. Tony, Tony Stark, he hugs him yeah. and he's like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so that's one of the reasons why I didn't think Tony Stark was. I mean, that was, that was such an emotional, emotional scene with, you know, him snapping his fingers. And it was him. It was him that, you know, took took yeah. took the took the biggest sacrifice. Um, and then and then we get his whole uh, funeral scene. Oh, right? wait, wait, wait. Before, oh, before okay, that. Yeah, yeah. Leading up to this movie, yeah, yeah, I thought it was gonna be Nebula that kills Thanos. Thanos. Yeah, I mean, it, it's I in thought, the comics. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I thought because yeah. I was basing it. I was like, okay, I was like, and then and then the whole build up, like, I thought it would have been like a complete circle. Yeah, it would have been a complete circle that it was gonna be one of his daughters, his daughters that, yeah. that, that kills him. Yeah, I thought so too, and they yeah. um, they almost kind of teased it too because yeah. Gamora. Uh, the 2014 Gamora, she's all like, wait, how did we become friends or what happens in the future? And then Nebula's all like, well, we still fight, but then we become friends and now we're sisters. And uh, so she's like, come on, we can stop Thanos. We can kill Thanos. Yeah. So that kind of, excuse me, that kind of made it seem like they were going to be the ones that was going to ne- kill Thanos. Um, but no, that was pretty cool when, when Tony Stark snaps his fingers and then everybody starts dusting away. So you get the other perspective mm. in, in Infinity War. You saw the good guys fade away, yeah. And in this one, you saw you saw them fade away. And Thanos kind of like just took it. He didn't yeah. say anything. He was just he felt def- he, he looked defeated. He knew he like I lost, and then he just fades away. Yeah. I think he knew that he was gonna die already. Yeah. yeah. I already knew. Yeah. That you know he, he, that was his destiny. He was gonna right. die right there. Yeah. So, so so are you okay with Tony Stark dying? Or yeah, I'm cool with it. Okay. I'm cool with it. Uh, let's get into like the the. Like after that, like the funeral. Okay. Sure, sure. It, that's what that was the next sequence, right? Yeah, the funeral. I think so. Yeah, yeah. They, they and then wrap oh, no, up. No, 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 no. Before that, they they started showing. Uh, or wait, was it? Yeah, it was the next sequence. Yeah, yeah, it was the next sequence. Was when uh, they, they once. Um, once they show Tony Stark, oh, they, they kind of like transition. It says like showing everything's back to normal. Right, 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 right. right. Like they, they show like the Avengers headquarters yeah. and then like New York and everything, mm-hmm. like the trees and right. all that. Right. And then they, I, I, I don't remember. It, yeah. it, it's, 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 it's a little blurry now, but the whole funeral scene, everybody was there. Mm-hmm. And if you notice, they, they paired them up to like, you know, to their individuals, like, you know, their teams. Yeah. Like you saw, um, you saw all the Guardians of the Galaxy together. You saw, uh, who else was paired together? Um, I forgot, I forgot how they were paired, but they were all paired together. Like, you know, they're like, you know, cause they, they did say that. Oh, uh, like Peter Parker and Aunt May. Yeah. 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 And, uh, so I thought that was a nice little scene, yeah. you know, even and then, ca- wh- then it was like a winter soldier. Yes. Falcon and they're going to, ha- and they're going to have their own TV series. Yeah. And that's how I knew. That's how I knew, uh, uh that w- I knew one of them was going to be captain America. Okay. In the comics, both of them right. have been captain America. Right. right. So I knew one of them, you know, one of them was going to become Captain America, right. uh, and then uh, so once 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 it was uh, Falcon that we went to talk to him, you know, like mm-hmm. afterwards. But leading up to that, I want to say it was it was like Scarlet Witch, you know, uh, Falcon, uh, Bucky, Bucky, 
and there was a kid behind him. Yes. Okay. So when I watched that, I was watching the movie. I was like, "Who the hell is this kid?" Right. Right. Who I'll, the hell is I, this? Kid? I, I didn't know either. And then I didn't know. Do you know who it is? Now I know. Okay. I think I know, but it's just a guess. I think I put it together. I think it is it the kid from Iron Man three. Yeah, that's okay. him. That's him. All right. Yeah. I was like thinking back. I was like, who is that kid? And why? Right. I was like, why is he by himself? Yeah. And then why is he just there? Just yeah. who is he? Yeah. Okay. It's, so it's the kid from it, Iron Man three. Yeah. Okay. And he's also the kid from Jurassic World of the, the the Jurassic World with Chris Pratt. Okay. He's, he's the, the little, little brother. One? He's the little okay. brother. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. He, I mean, oh my God, time has changed. He's 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 tall now. He's. Yeah, I I didn't I like I. I I guess because, like, in my mind, I kind of put, I, like, try to forget about Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3. Yeah, yeah, those are... Yeah, Iron Man 2, I, I thought was horrible. I, Iron Man 3 was better, but the thing is, like, one thing I didn't like was the whole Mandarin aspect. Yeah. Because, like, in the comics, Mandarin's, like, one of Iron Man's, like, biggest foes. Yeah. And then Iron Man 3 made it into just an actor basically right a, so, a gimmick yeah it was just a gimmick it yeah. was just like a random like right. random person who's acting to be mandarin right. yeah. so that was my knock against iron man 3 yeah. that's why i kind of like just put that like i just kind of like i oh, forget right. about that one right so yeah it took me a while it took me today's sunday watching it took me two days to figure it out that that, that, that that kid yeah the kid was from iron man three yeah i was like i was like he's by himself so he had to have and then he had to it was at tony's funeral so he had to have some relation into with tony stark so so before we get to captain america and his what happened to him at the very end of the film yeah now that tony stark is dead in the in the mcu universe You know, there's a whole bunch of talk like, okay, so who's going to be the new Tony Stark? Who's going to be the leader of the Avengers now that now that he's gone? Mm-hmm. So who do you, out of the remaining Avengers, who do you think steps up as the 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 number one? The captain? Uh, no, no, not not the captain. The leader. The leader. The leader. leader. Uh, it's going to be a whole different team. It's going to be a completely different team of yeah. the Avengers. Yeah. And I can tell you, it's uh, I know. I know the team, or I know basically who's going to be on the team. Uh, it's going to lead up to, there's going to be, they kind of introduced them a little bit. Did they? In, in this movie? Uh, not this movie. One was introduced in Captain Marvel. And uh, one, well, yeah, they technically they introduced it in Endgame. Well, who? It was the post credit scene. The post credit scene in Endgame? Yeah. There was one? It was a sound. There was no scene, but it was a sound effect. What was the sound effect? Uh, it was uh, the a hammer beating down on metal. Mm-hmm. So kind of like Iron Man when he was first building his suit. Right, right, right. So who's gonna be, who? Who is gonna? Who is that? Okay, so this is all right. Think this about, is this is new for me. This uh, is, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this, this is this is my theory. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Looking back, Iron Man was the thing that started off, kicked off this whole, right. this whole sequence, right. this whole series, twenty-two movies, right. all of this. Okay, given the fact Iron Man dies here, and then seeing what he did to to uh, to bring everybody back, you know, and just want just bring think also think about like the Captain America sequence. You know, right. Captain America's old now; he passes his shield on to. To Falcon, right? Basically, you're Captain America now, right? So, because because Falcon had said his line was, "Man, I can't think of a world, you know, without Captain America." Right. So, in the in my mindset, I was like, that already kind of triggered it, where uh, where I was like, oh, okay, so who's gonna be Iron Man now right. or whatever? And basically, seeing that Tony Stark, you know, sacrificed himself to save everybody, right? Seeing that moment, seeing that he died for that, mm-hmm. causes somebody else to build their own suit. Okay. And uh, the the person who's building her uh, the the new suit is a girl. Okay. The, the new Iron Man's a girl. Is it his daughter? No, it's not his daughter. It's it's somebody else. It's somebody else. Like uh uh, uh the comics already have her. It's she's in the comics already. Uh and. Uh, She's already introduced in the comics, and they did this a while back. But yeah, her she's not gonna be named Iron Man. Mm-hmm. She goes by Iron Heart. 
Iron Heart. Yeah. I didn't know about her. Yeah, she goes by Iron Heart. And so it's so basically my theory is that, you know, seeing she's witnessed she witnessed Iron Man basically sacrifice himself. Mm-hmm. And then so seeing all this and she's also she has like the the engineering, you know, the science yeah. background okay. stuff. So seeing all this causes her, she's yeah. like, Oh man, there's gotta be in somebody else to basically right. take Iron Man's place. Right. So that causes her to to build her own suit. Okay. And then so basically the sound effect in the post like post credit is her building her suit. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a that's a interesting uh uh concept, you know, right. just because of what Iron Man did, you know, he was the one that started all, so by him sacrificing yeah, he he would he would be the one to bring inspiration to inspire somebody, you know, like you know, this guy gave it all, you know, I want I want to, you know, uh live up to live up to the name you know yeah. like you know because he's a legend you know it's 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 kind of like batman you know yeah in the sense that you know anybody can put on the uh, can put on the mask you know it's it's leading up you know uh living up to the legacy so that that would be pretty cool to yeah. see um there's also another theory out there that's saying that even though te- technically technically tony stark is dead in the mcu universe yeah we did see a little bit of what could happen in later films because you you saw him record himself for his daughter. Oh, uh, man. The teleportation, well, not teleportation. The uh, what do you call that when you, you when you show uh, when you record yourself and you're seeing it on like a, uh, the, it's the like a like a slide like a I I can't think of it right now. Like I'm going blank. I, I, I know what it is. Uh, Cause right now I'm pitched the hologram, a hologram. Yeah. So we saw him in a hologram. So there's there's people talking about there that yes, even though he's dead, he probably recorded a whole bunch of stuff for everybody. You know. So we might see in the next movie, in the next Marvel movie is Spider-Man: Far From Home. Yeah. So because we know that Tony Stark had a you know close relationship with Peter Parker, he probably left some messages. He probably left some messages okay. for uh, for for Peter Parker. Yeah. So we might see him back in that one. But only like in a okay. in a hologram. Okay, I got so you. So that that'd be pretty cool to see if they do something do 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 something like yeah. that. I'm gonna say this though: seeing the the when uh, the hologram was paying for her daughter. Yeah, that made me cry. Yeah, no, that, that was, made me cry. Yeah. I was I was like, oh man, I, and which is which is which is weird because like I had a you know a couple of tears coming down my eye, <laughs> but like I I have a problem like. Uh, with really dry eyes mm-hmm. and so i have i take like prescription eye drops for them and stuff like that yeah. so so my eyes are always dry all the time and then so i can't it's hard for me to cry <laughs> extra hard for me to cry but that scene made me cry yeah. watching watching you know he's basically playing he, he recorded a message for for his daughter yeah and more then, for morgan yeah yeah for morgan and then just and morgan's watching the message yeah was that, like, that, that was to me that was one that of the, got to me yeah no that was one of those heartfelt moments because yeah. Um, I mean, you, you put yourself in that situation, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, man, that's like seeing somebody that you're no longer going to see just going to be through holograms. Yep. But this, yeah, the, I'm, I'm with you. That was a mo- very emotional. And the way he, you know, the way he looked up at her for one last time and he oh, was yeah. all like, I love you 3000. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I mean, that was, that was, that hit, that hit me right in the heartstrings. And then, she, um, his, uh, happy Hogan, his, his assistant, oh, yeah, yeah. She, he's with her and she's all like, cheeseburgers. So like, yeah. She's like, what do you want? And I was like, I want cheeseburgers. And 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 that also that's also a another callback. reference a callback to the original. Yeah, because when he got out from the cave, right, that right, was right. The first he, thing he the wanted, the first thing he wanted was yeah. the whole cheeseburger. So that right. was those those right there make the movie for me. When you when you see it and you remember the lines and you remember them like you know tying the loose ends to stuff. So mm-hmm. it's it's cool to see stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. So, so yeah. So, and then from, I, I was actually glad that it made me cry because then from that point, my eyes weren't that dry anymore. So I was like, I was seeing better. I was you, like, <laughs> you, you probably, weren't, you probably weren't the only one crying, man. There was, there yeah. was probably more. There was probably more tears, tears in that. Uh, yeah, in that, that whole scene that got me, man. That got me. But yeah, so so then like you know the whole Captain America being old and that was that was crazy. And then he had a he had his own life, you know. He yeah, stayed. He didn't so, come. He didn't. He didn't come back. So that's that's the one that I most. Uh, that's the one that I had a lot of questions after the movie was kind of because uh, I was thinking, 
So he goes back. They didn't show us when he goes back. He just he has the briefcase. Yeah, he puts back all the stones. Right. He's, he's supposed to go and put back all the right. stones. Right. And then he also took the hammer with him, which I'm curious to see why he took the he took He took the hammer? Yeah, he took the hammer with him. So in one hand, he had Mjolnir and the other hand he had the stones. So I'm I'm, I'm curious to see if they're going to bring that back in other films, I mean, or if maybe there's theories out there, but he took both of them. But we didn't see that. We didn't, we didn't see how he put the stones back. Uh-huh. So my question was for the film is, uh, at the very end of the film, we see him and, and, and his and, and Peggy, right? That's her name? Yeah. Peggy Carter? Peggy Carter. Yeah. So we see him. He finally has that dance with her. Um, so even even uh, Sam uh, Falcon mentioned it. He goes, I, I can't, I can't uh, understand a world without Captain America. Yeah. So, and then, you know, I, I was hearing other, you know, people talking about it, but... Uh, so did he give up being Captain America in that in that one timeline? Because he's with her now. Yeah. And then he comes back as an old man. Yeah. So he's already lived his life. So did he give up in that in that time? Did he like you know what? I said yes because I uh, because he when he's talking to Sam, uh, he said he's like I finally did something what Tony told me to do to get a life to get a life yeah, yeah. you know get uh, yeah I think he and settle down with the girl. Mm-hmm. And then so so basically yeah so he went back in time and you know everybody else still thinks he's he, he's dead or mm-hmm. well frozen or missing from uh, like uh, okay. from the whole Red Skull yeah. thing yeah. so everybody still thinks he's missing from there but he just stays with. So with did Peggy. you like that ending? I thought that was good. That was a good ending. I like that. You know. Yeah. And then him passing on the torch and right. then like that like the funeral it was setting up everything like it was setting up like the. Like Bucky's and, and and Falcons. Right. Yeah, and, and see that's what I wanted to reference to when they were series. showing the, the, the way the Wanda has her own series. Right, the way the camera was panning towards everybody. Yeah, yeah. Loki has his. That's own That's another series. person that we forgot to talk about. Loki. Yeah, and this happens back when uh, when uh, when Captain America was getting the Tesseract. This was when he was getting the 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 briefcase. Right, and right. The whole fight sequence yeah, that, yeah. that happened afterwards. Yeah, and then like when they were downstairs and then Hulk came downstairs right. and then like, yeah. So basically it's, it's, uh, Loki gets free mm-hmm. and then he disappears. Right. The, so that's another question that I have. Okay. So yeah. is, it, I think the series Loki's series on the Disney streaming platform right. is going to go on what happens yeah. after. I can't know, wait for that speech. thing to come out. Cause yeah. it's, it's dropping November, yeah. November of this year. And apparently when that, when that new streaming service comes out, like all of them are going to be ready, ready to go. Oh, yeah, wow. like Loki's going to like November Loki series going to be up. Yeah. Um, Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, yeah. uh, uh, Bucky and 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 the Falcon. So yeah, I'm excited and yeah. I'm excited for that streaming service. So that's another thing that I have to yeah. uh, you know add on the add on the Roku is that uh, Disney streaming service because yeah. you know definitely want to see those film or see those shows. Um, so. Overall, what would you rate the film? I mean, I gave it like zero to ten. Yeah, one. Yeah, zero to ten, or one to ten. I gave it a nine. You gave it a nine. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I, I'm, I'm there with you. I gave it a nine. I gave Infinity Wars a ten. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually, okay. And this is something I want to talk about. Like, I wanted to get your thought yeah. on what's your favorite movie out of the twenty-two. Out of the twenty-two. Oh man. What's your favorite movie? <clears throat> You know, okay, it's probably gonna okay. So out of the twenty-two films, you only can pick one. Only one. Only one. What's your favorite okay. movie? And it's so funny because going in, uh, I remember seeing this mo- the trailer for the first time, and I was like, "Who the heck are these guys? Like, yeah. this movie's gonna be so dumb." Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is my favorite movie. Okay, uh, the first one. The first one. Yeah. The very first one. And it's so funny because going into it uh, again, uh, I think that's what helped them. That like a whole bunch of people didn't know who they were. Yeah, so the, so, so I, they had freedom to play around. Right, with right, right. It. So like going into it, I had no idea who these were, and I don't I don't even know if I watched it at the movie theater. I think yeah. I saw it afterwards. Okay, but for me, just the whole like you said, they had freedom to to you know to work with these characters. I think they work really really well together. The soundtrack was what was yeah. what, what got me. I mean, because they're they're the first movie that brought you know that that soundtrack. And uh, um, and I'm so happy that they went back in this in Endgame to oh, to, the, s- to see them dancing yeah. around. <laughs> you know, the, the, so I have never heard of that song before. So yeah. when that movie came out, I mean, I, I I purchased that song. I listened to her for like you know that that one week straight. 
Um, but that opening scene in Gardens of the Galaxy when Quill's going to get the Power Stone. Yeah. Uh, is it the, the purple one? Yeah. yeah the the power. power Stone. And that whole sequence where he's dancing to that one song. And so they when they go back to that scene, I thought that was real, real, real cool the way they shot that. Yeah. And then uh, Rhodey and Nebula are in the background, and you're yeah. like, "This is the guy." That, you know, he, he, okay, so apparently he's an he's he's an idiot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that whole sequence was was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, out of the twenty two films, Guardians of the Galaxy is my favorite film. Okay. What about you? Thor Ragnarok. That was gonna be my second choice. Yeah. I mean, I that, I thought I thought Thor Ragnarok was perfect. Yeah. I thought that was perfect. Yeah, I mean, because fi- finally, uh, Chris Hemsworth, you know, he he finally played Thor the way he wanted to. Yeah, you know, because you know uh, the first two were he, he. I mean, he said it himself, like he like he didn't know. You know, he felt like he the actor or he was restricted. Um, he didn't put his own personality into it. But I agree. Uh, you know, that was a tough one. Yeah. If I could choose one A and one B, yeah, it'd be Guardians of the Galaxy and then Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, I've seen that movie so many times. I, I, I'm Taika, Taika Waititi. Yeah, Taika Waititi. I think he's brilliant. Hey, he's one of my favorite directors. Oh right man, now. I mean, he's oh, yeah. he's awesome, and uh, I can't wait to see what he's gonna do with the Mandalorian because he's a part of it. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's. Oh. He, he, I don't. He's helping uh, John Favreau. Yeah, and I, I know John Favreau. That's his project, but I know he brought in Taika to help him with some stuff. Um, but yeah, no, those, those two films I have to say are, are, are my top two or yeah, one yeah. A, one B. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, cause that movie has everything with, you know, like, you know, it has the action it has the comedy. Yeah. I thought the comedy in it was amazing. Yeah. And it just to see like the whole, I don't know, it, to me it was, it was perfect. I, right. I, to me it had it all. Yeah. It, it yeah. had it all. And, uh, yeah, man, it was just, it just. I was like totally. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Like I wasn't expecting, expecting, especially coming from the first two movies. Right. Like same thing with this one. I didn't. I hadn't watched any mm-hmm. like trailers or anything. So you know, I knew they were doing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, at this point, I had already seen one of t- the Taika's uh, Hunt for the Wilder yes, People. Yes, you're the I, one that. Yeah. Yeah, I had already seen that movie. And then I was like, oh, so this guy's going to be the one directing, like, the new Thor? Like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, man. And then I saw that movie. I was like, oh, it was perfect. You could see, yeah. like, I could see, like, he, he brought his style into the Marvel. Yeah. The, the, the whole Marvel universe right. and put his comedic twist to it. Right. And just that comedic t- twist with the action and right. the, the whole story yeah. sequence was to me it was perfect. Yeah, that was no, my favorite. I, I agree with you. If there's yeah. a if there's like a, a contest or if there's like an application to work for Taika, man, yeah. I, I would I would do that and I would I would love to be just just to pick his brain. Yeah, I mean, because he seems like a fun person, even when he's because um, I like to watch the YouTube sh- the videos where the uh, the because the premiere was actually last Monday. So the, the LA premiere, the big premiere for was, Endgame, for Endgame was okay. Monday, yeah. and so I saw a little bit of the of the um, what do you call them of the interviews, yeah. And every time Taika came on, man, he's just hilarious, man. Oh, he's, he's just yeah, he's funny, dude. He, man. He's super funny. I mean, he's flamboyant. The yeah. way he wears it, he had like a purple suit on, um, and he was just. I mean, he's he just seems like a fun director, and and so I hopefully Marvel uses him again. Uh, yeah, I think. I think I heard something that James Gunn is actually bringing in Taika on set for Guardians of the Galaxy three. Okay, that would be cool. Because they want to blend Thor Ragnarok and Guardians together. Yeah. That oh, that whole the concept. As Guardians. Yeah, the As Guardians. So that'd be I, pretty cool. So if we're talking about our favorite film from the twenty two franchises that we've seen, if we want to talk about what's our most anticipated film, you know, the upcoming ones, that's probably the one that I have on my list is the As Guardians because the whole dynamic between Quill and Thor, I think, is hilarious. It's gonna be hilarious because they're both competing. They're both pride. They they both have pride. Yeah. They both want to be the the number one the guy the, the 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 guy in charge. Yeah. So I think that whole dynamic is gonna be great to see. And it, it looks like the supporting actors actually are having fun with it because like you know I think you guys should duel. You know. Yeah. You know, bringing knives and this and that. <laughs> that whole sequence yeah. is like, come on guys, we don't need to show who's number one or yeah. we don't know to see who's in charge. We all know who's number one. Yeah, we all know who it is. <laughs> and then and, and Quill's all like, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's me right <laughs> and thor's like of course yeah you know that his whole the way he delivers those lines yeah. man it's 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 awesome so i'm um, fingers crossed that that movie gets made real soon because that's the one that i'm most and most excited about mm-hmm. you know for the future yeah, that's good man that's good man 
Uh, I know we we then. How much we, time do we have? We're at an hour forty. Oh or, wow! Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> I think we're good. Uh, we broke it down. Uh, yeah, man, it was, it was. I really enjoyed getting your take on this, man. Yeah, no, this this was fun. It was, I, I, a, it was a big movie, man. It, uh, yeah, we you have to you have to do something like this for a big movie, and ho- yeah. ho- hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, I I love watching these type of shows. So when you called, when you texted me, he's like, "Hey, yeah. I have this idea about doing a trailer review, or not a trailer, but a movie, movie review. review." And yeah. I was all like, "I was like, yes." I mean, I love watching this type of stuff just to hear what everybody else thinks, see if my opinions are in line with other. If you caught, yeah, if you, stuff if, like if, in the movie, yeah, if you caught something like that. Um, but yeah, go see the movie if you haven't seen it already. Uh, three hours long, so make sure you don't drink anything. Yeah. Uh, I, I I did two bathroom breaks before before I, the, the first premiere because I did not want to miss any of it. So yeah. I knew the movie theater was gonna be cold, so I was like, I, I took my jacket. Yeah. I, I was like, I I was prepared. Yeah, but yeah, man, it was a it was a really good movie overall. I mean, I, I thought it was dope. Solid nine. You know, you heard it here first. Solid so, nine. Solid nine. Solid I mean, nine from Definest Michael Macedo. Yeah, but it was it was just to think about like. You know, if you if you think about like the whole sequence of yeah. leading up to it, yeah, and looking the whole thing at as a whole, right. and then all twenty two movies leading up to this, right? Then I, I, I it's it's amazing. I yeah. think it's it's unprecedented. Yeah, yeah, yeah nothing like this has been yeah. done before. So just to see it was just like it was a huge event. And it's like breaking box office records. Yeah, that's it what I heard. Yeah, one point two billion. Yeah, I saw that. I yeah. saw that. Yeah. Over the weekend, yeah. So three hundred and fifty million U.S. Something, some around that range. Yeah, three fifty U.S. And then the, the pre- of, yeah. yeah, the previous record was their own with the Infinity Wars, mm-hmm. which was like two eighty yeah. or something like that. So yeah. yeah, man. So it's it's a huge movie. Yeah. So uh, no, yeah. Thank you for bringing me. Thank you for the shirt. I mean, yeah, the, man. Uh, oh, I gotta say the 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 the. Sh- even though I don't, I'm gonna mention this on podcast. I told you off air. I, the website is technically not done yet, but it the website <laughs> it'll be ready. It'll be ready Wednesday, May first. I gotta get that right because I I missed it. Oh okay. I said I oh, said I March. Yeah, yeah. I said March first, two thousand nine. Yeah. I meant May first, two thousand nineteen. You probably did some time travel of your own. You probably and that's, went back that's and what it is. <laughs> you did. You got some of those pen particles and yeah, you went back I, in time. I went back. I messed with some Infinity Stones, and that's exactly what happened, man. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, guy, oh, I'll even show you this. Oh, show him, man. Yeah, I got to show him this. So, uh, uh, I was just messing around before before Javier got here, and I, I did a little, like, uh, uh, if you've seen, like, the Avengers poster, the Endgame poster. I, I did thought that a- was the actual poster. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you're, you're being way too kind. This is, like, real <laughs> real basic sketch. But I was like, you know what? I was like, I was thinking about like, what am I going to do for the thumbnail? And I didn't want to take just like take like their their like the the their poster and just use yeah. that. I was like, nah. I was like, well, I could draw it. I thought this was going to be real quick, and I cheated doing this because I ended up just taping, blowing up like their poster, and then just taping it to the screen and just tracing it out real quick. That's Mike always thinking outside the box. Uh, yeah. So I did it like that. I was like, oh, it's not going to take that long, and then. Like it was taking way longer than I thought it was gonna be. Like I did like the rough outline, and then I went back and I was like gonna touch it all up. Like I did Tony Stark, I kind of touched him up real quick, and I was like, yeah, this is taking too long. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's a it's a probably like 25 percent completed movie end game poster that uh that I drew. So yeah, I'm gonna use this for the thumbnail. So if you can't see this on camera, you can see it better on the thumbnail. That's what are you gonna finish it or just like that? No, I'm gonna leave it just like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave it just like this, and I'm gonna put it on the thumbnail. I'm gonna use it as a thumbnail <laughs> image. So you're gonna see that that image right there. You can't miss it. You're gonna see <laughs> like some of these people like look really whack. Because I haven't added no detail to him. Hawkeye is probably the worst. I'm just going to say that right now. Maybe Hulk too. Bruce Banner. I like the way you did Thanos. Thanos, yeah. Uh, Thanos was all right. Uh, Yeah, but... uh, Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, clothing line, May 1st. It's going to drop. So, if you're watching this, this is going to come out Tuesday. So, a day. (laughs) So, a day after watching this, the clothing line is going to drop, man. Yeah, man. So I appreciate y'all guys for listening. Uh, 
The Finest Podcast on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts. Listen wherever you want, man. And yeah, man, check y'all out next time, man. All right. Thank you.